Hey guys, I got such a lot of mixed feedback from my last Overwatch video, so I decided I'd split it up, and some days I'd do a full Overwatch like this, and some other days I'd put all three Overwatches into one video. So depending on what you like, just tune in for whichever video you like. Anyways, let's see what we have here today. He throws a nade in the middle and nades this guy over by vent. He's got 16 kills so far, 31% headshot percentage, 121 damage round. He seems to be walking around with a P90. He knew there was a guy in the middle, but that's not too surprising as he just needed the guy in the middle and there was probably a lot of calls. There is a guy here boosted. He just took out his teammate so he knows that there was a guy there. He's going to switch guns and go back to his P90 it looks like as they attempt to hit a main. He's going to sit over here by forklift. And he's just kind of watching the entrance at this point. Flash comes in. He's going to throw a flash back. Interesting flash. Throws a nice deep flash, and now he's going to smoke it off. The smoke is a little bit deep to prevent anyone from pushing out. It might prevent them from going over to the left side, but he's going to push in behind them as this guy has his back turned with his teammate flanking. Now, did that look shady? Not exactly, mainly because his teammate was flanking, so I assume they just tried to pinch at the same time. He's going to make his way over towards B. It looks like they're stacking three guys B at this point. A flash comes in, and he's blinded, he's going to stay back passive. Actually, that third guy is just a bot, as you can see, he's going to push in there and give him some information, at least on the radar. And his teammate peeks right after that. Luckily, another guy's already rotated to B, and even though Bulldog took him out, the suspect's here, he misses to connect with the shot, finally gets him down, which leaves the last three guys at A. I'm sure his teammates has called it since he's in the site, and the other guys are already pushed out into sight. He gets taken out, which means the suspect's going to be here in a 1v2. Takes the guy out by bomb, dodges the guy over by forklift before he throws a nade. Nade does not connect. Definitely was too high. And he he came out directly on that guy. I mean, I knew he... Everyone knew that he was over at forklift, but that, that looked perfect. His aim was already very well pre-placed. Uh, until this point, I had no suspicions at all, but after that... I'm a little bit curious. Let's see if he does anything else. He's going to hold this position and wait for Zigzag to push up into him. He is e easily able to take him down, followed by Toaster. Here we go. Ooh, he pre-fired that. I don't know if he actually saw him. I might have to review that again. I'm going to turn off uh, X-Ray and see what happens here. He gets smoked off. He took the shot. I wonder if the shot corresponded to uh, when the guy crossed. I should have kept X-Ray on. <laughs> He's going to make his way into A main. Looks like a guy's pushing up. Spams a couple shots at him, and there's a guy here in the right corner. He's going to come out looking towards Forklift, takes him out, no problem. Looks over to the right. He isn't able to kill him, but he does have the bot to come and take over. Which means the round's not over for him, or his team for that matter. It's a 2v2 situation. One guy is, or both guys are by truck. He's going to get on top of here and try to take a shot, but he never actually shot, which is kind of suspicious in the aspect that he could see them. Why didn't he shoot at them? <laughs> Do you think the other team couldn't see him? Anyways, he's going to make his way over here to checkers. He takes out the guy in checkers. He did not look like he pre-aimed him, with the exception of when he was walking up to it. His aim was straight on him, but that could have been completely coincidental. Takes out the guy in B sight. This uh, leaves his team in a 5v3 situation. Of course, they do have a bot on their team, but one of his teammates just went down, which means they'll probably take over the bot. He came out looking straight towards heaven and jumped up, almost connecting with that scout shot. At moments, it looks like he comes out on the person, but other moments it doesn't, so... 
still kind of on the fence about it. Not enough at this point to convict him of anything. He's going to be sitting here at AFK and T spawn, which is always kind of a scary sign. Does that mean he was toggling something on, or if he was using hacks already, does that mean that uh, he's going to be unstoppable at this point? He comes out, he takes this guy that had pushed up on A main, he throws a flash, he's going to just push right through the smoke it looks like. Has no fear of it, the site is completely clear. Throws a smoke down highway to block it off and makes his way over towards truck. There's a decoy grenade at truck and a flashbang comes in. But he's going to come out and his aim is staying on target at this point. He's going to jump up here towards middle. Sees the guy and sprays him down. That leaves two guys left. Both aim A. Throws a flash to block them off from coming in and throws a smoke to stop them from... Uh, it was supposed to go into the main entrance but it actually landed there. So, it wasn't much help. He throws the pistol. I assumed he threw it to fake the guy out and make him turn around, but for some reason he knew that he didn't turn around, he didn't go in. And let's see if he's going to push in. He gets shot a bit, but he's able to take him out. Now from Zigzag's perspective right there, it's kind of funny that he peeked out to the right after taking the first couple of shots, because I think if he had stayed on the box, the other guy wouldn't have had a chance to kill him because of the angle. He's going to make his way towards middle. They've thrown a bunch of flashes over. They've kind of flashed them out a little bit, but not enough to really do anything. He's going to make his way over here towards B. Throws down the bomb back towards middle. There's a guy pushed up here. Let's see if he knows he's there. He doesn't seem to know he's there. He's going to check. He doesn't see anyone. And he's actually going to fall off of it, pick up the bomb again. Actually, his teammate picked up the bomb. And make his way back over towards A. Now A site is actually completely clear at this point. There is one guy highway that goes down, the other two guys are connector, and one guy's at B. He's gonna make his way into the site and plant the bomb. Or his teammates plant the bomb. He smokes off truck this time, but he's gonna push up over to it anyways. Throws a flash, jumps on the truck, and is able to take down both players. It was actually a pretty good play in my opinion. So that means that there's real one guy highway. And he's gonna make his way over here towards connector. His teammate goes down, which means that he's called out his location so he knows exactly where he should be at. And he's gonna come out looking towards him and he's able to take him down without any issues at all. gonna make his way over towards B at the beginning of this round. Throws the bomb down, but it doesn't look like any of his teammates have picked it up. Maybe they'll pick it back up on rotation. He's gonna peek this. His teammate goes down from a guy by checkers. And he does a little bit of damage, but not enough to finish him off. He's gonna probably re-peek it in a second. Just kind of holding this angle while the AWP holds the other. Gonna throw a smoke to block it off, which is a wise play that makes sure that if there is an AWP there, he won't be shot. So far, he has some pretty good plays here. A couple little shady moments, but nothing overly shady. He does seem to know that there is a guy here that just went over the top of that box in middle. Now, I don't know if that was somehow a call by his teammate, or if all of a sudden he just became a little more sentient than he should be, which means maybe wall hacks. Again, that would be like the third play of this game where something that he did seemed a little bit suspicious. Either way, he's going to make his way over here towards A main. He's lagging out a little bit, but he throws a flash off the wall. And it looked like he was prepared to shoot the guy at that point, but since he was actually on the other side of the box, he didn't. That looked a little bit suspicious as well. I actually do think this guy might be wall hacking. The way that he's positioning himself around, he seems to know where people are. Of course, the door opened up, which gave off that guy's position, and he was pre prepared for it. But still, it felt like he knew that the guy was going to be over there towards the right side, even before he had actually seen anything. When he was originally after the original flash. There's one guy, Truck. He's going to watch towards Truck. He knows for a fact that the guy's not going to peek out from Connector. Uh... I'm actually going to have to say that this guy is walling, guys. I mean, mainly because there was a couple incidents, which I will try to 
make sure I show off in the video that just seemed a little bit too suspicious. Aim assistance insufficient, vision assistance evident, other external assistance insufficient, and griefing insufficient. I hope you guys enjoyed. I could be wrong with this one.